We're here in Barcelona, Spain. Why? Because we're at MWC, Mobile World Congress. And we've been invited here by Huawei. So we're gonna have a look around at some of the Huawei things and see what new products they've got. space here is absolutely massive in it it's, it's pretty like large huge. yeah it's like go big or go home it's like it's massive man most companies like this people consider just to be like a consumer electronics company don't they but there's so much behind the scenes that is on display at these kinds of events yeah i think i think most people do think huawei are just a handset company but as we've shown in some of our previous videos, they do so much more. So if you want to have a look at some of the previous videos, you'll check out the link up here. But you know, they've got, they've got just massive amounts of stuff, haven't they? You know, they do like power, you know, intelligent enterprise. I think it must be interesting to be in one of the roles where you're literally taking a specific industry and just looking at it with fresh eyes trying to think how can we improve this industry you yeah, can take it more efficient make it safer you can make take like mining for example yeah. this morning we went to uh, a what would you call it a round table a round table discussion um, sort of talking about how they're going to improve the efficiency and and safety and etc of the mining yeah, in yeah. Africa and some of the solutions they come up with, I don't know if you could give an example. Yeah, well, or basically, they, they have like um, crash detection algorithms that run on trucks so they don't have accidents. They have like automated um, AI drilling. So, previously, it was one of the really dangerous jobs drilling and cutting in a mine. So, they have like more where they're using automation for that as opposed to uh, having men on the face in a dirty, hot environment. They can put people in a control room and it's all sort of much more automated. And it's 5G that allows that because you've got the low latency of 5G. And just overall, like Huawei are literally doing that for not just mining, but so many industries all around the world. They're literally in tons of stuff that you might never have heard of. So that's why we're trying to show you all those things in this video. But unfortunately, the video would be like, a film it'd be like two hours long if we were to show you everything so that's why we're going to be focusing on some specific areas today which are well we're going to focus on how Huawei are making sort of their products more energy efficient and the next evolution in this sort of um, data connectivity which is 5.5G there's some absolutely mind-blowing statistics that come along with that so stay tuned to that part of the video The first thing I'm going to tell you about is Huawei's ICT for green. Now, all around the world, people are concerned about power consumption and making things more energy efficient. And Huawei have a lot of things going on in this area, but I'm going to tell you specifically about two today. So this would be a typical um, 5G mass, for example. Now, if you look at a normal 5G mass, it would maybe have 64 channels and if you have all those channels powered up at the same time, it'll use a lot of energy. So what Huawei have done, they use AI and machine learning to create a traffic profile. So for example, maybe at nine o'clock in the morning when everybody gets up and checking their phones, all the channels will be switched on so the antenna is at full power. Then maybe after breakfast, say, maybe 10, 30 in the morning, then there's not so much traffic going through that mass. So they can switch it into a, a lower um, channel, so they can maybe switch off half of the channels on that, conserving power. And then maybe, say after midnight, when everybody's gone to bed between midnight and say, I don't know, 4 a.m., there's very little traffic passing through the network. So then they can switch it into an extreme low power mode where Maybe there's only just a few channels or none at all channels operating. Do they come over to each mast and change a little knob on it, do they? No, 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 no. They have a software AI algorithm which learns the traffic profile through the mast. So it knows 
when there's going to be high demand and low demand and it automatically switches it over to, switches the channels on and off to conserve the power. So the algorithm I talked about um, using the AI, this can also be used in networks to, um, in, in sort of routers and switches to put them into a lower power mode. And because the um, AI learns the pattern of the traffic through the network, it can save energy without affecting the customer experience. So like before, if the network had to wake up, it might take you a, a fraction of a second before you get like a good connection again. But with this algorithm, there's literally no downtime because it, it predicts the traffic flows through the network and only sleeps it when it knows there's gonna be no traffic. So the next thing I wanna tell you about and show you is the next step in 5G, which is the 5.5G. And literally this is like 5G on steroids. So some of the things where 5.5G exceeds 5G is in the downlink speed, it's now up to 10 gigabits per second. The uplink is up to one gigabits per second and you can handle up to 100 billion connections. And that will be, as we go forward, we have more and more IoT devices, which are sort of everyday devices connected to the network. So the next generation has to be capable of handling huge amount of connections. And 5.5G is ready for that. So other features of 5.5G, the latency, has a latency as low as four milliseconds. So we'll be able to do more with industry digitalization. So currently 5G, maybe not quite quick enough for certain applications, but 5.5G will certainly be fast enough. What does that and mean? It basically means the time it takes for the signal to respond from one end where somebody moves a control to the machine doing what it says, the latency that the delays will be as low as four milliseconds, which typically in 5G is somewhat higher than that at this point. Also, due to the insanely fast download speeds of up to 10 gigabytes a second, applications like VR and AR, which have been up to now a little bit clunky, will become much richer experiences because these kind of products and applications need a huge amount of data and currently networks just can't support that. And it's really interesting because when I was a kid, I had um, my first modem on my computer. The download speed was a maximum of 64 kilobytes. Mm. And now we're talking of download speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. It's just like unbelievable, you know. I, I would link with my modem and it would build up a screen image line by line until it got to the bottom of the screen and then you had to press the key and it would load the next screen like that. It's just incredible how things fast are moving. Obviously, you know, after 5.5G, another few years time we're going to have 6G. Will that be up to, what, 100 gigabits per second? Who knows, you know, where will it end? How fast will it go? So another um, application of 5.5G using passive IoT will be in logistics. Now, traditionally, logistics have used an RFID tag, where a passive IoT tag has a range of over 200 meters. And what this means is that, traditionally, if you have a warehouse environment, you will have to have a guy walking around with a scan gun, very similar to this, to scan, scan, scan. Whereas with Passive IoT, literally, you'll be able to press one button at the whole of your inventory, your warehouse, counted within a second or two. And also, because the location accuracy of Passive IoT is approximately down to as little as 30 centimeters, you will very quickly be able to identify and find lost items in your warehouse. And this is a major, major benefit for logistics companies and that's just yet another example of how 5.5G will uh, be utilized within an industrial or logistics environment. Most people think 5G is all about faster download speeds for their phone or tablet, but it's actually much, much more than that. And certainly a massive area is industrial application and manufacturing. And that's where 
Huawei are really strong. They have many, many solutions for many different industry sectors. So uh, we hope that's given you some idea of some of the new technologies on the way to the market and how Huawei are making more energy efficient products. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like the channel in general, consider hitting that subscribe button. But as always, for now, from Barcelona, take care.